So we would like to thank the board for giving us this opportunity to share all the amazing experiences our students are afforded here at the central members of our Andrew Cutson educational community. Uh, I'd also like to say you're welcome because uh, we're not going to be singing. <laughs> you would be thanking us. So, um, uh, but I am Paul Joachini. I'm one of the art teachers at the middle school. I'm also the Part A instructional leader. And this is Logan Kraus. She's also uh, one of the middle school art teachers. And uh, let's get to it. So we're going to go to the next slide. Um, there we go. Uh, so there are seven full-time visual arts teachers at, in the Hedger Cousin School District. One teacher is at Frank G. Lindsay Elementary. The second is split between BV and Furnace Woods. Uh, there are two art teachers at Blue Mountain Middle School and three at Hedger Cousin High School. Let's start by taking a look at the elementary visual arts program. Our student's journey begins in pre-K, where students receive art three times in a six-day cycle. Our kindergarten students receive art two times in a six-day cycle. Starting in first grade, students receive art one time in their six-day cycle. Our ABC and Sailor students take part in adaptive and sensory art programs commencing at the elementary school level and continuing on through middle and high school. As we continue to look at our at the art created by each grade level, you can notice that the students' projects and work, project work includes drawing, painting, collage, printmaking, sculpture, mass design, puppetry, ceramics, and repurposing, repurposing recycled materials that allow for skill building and expression. Students explore classic to contemporary artist studies. Here you can see an example of the Jim Dine inspired symmetrical heart print and the Yogami Kusama inspired pumpkin. Materials and techniques are taught to support the varying needs and fine motor development of our young artists. The American poet Dana Joya wrote, the purpose of arts education is not to produce more artists, though that is a byproduct. The real purpose of arts education is to create complete human beings capable of leading successful and productive lives in a free society. Our elementary art teachers collaborate with other teachers to help our students make interdisciplinary connections. For example, our students at Furnace Woods have just com completed an interdisciplinary project between STEAM and the visual arts to research and create mythical animals. And it, additional enrichment activities available to students at the elementary level include after school art club academies, mural painting opportunities, stage decorations, art activity booths at school fairs and field days, and collaboration of some high school at some high school events such as the Pumpkin Pot concert. Here is the summary of the elementary highlights that we had just discussed. So now let's look at the Blue Mountain Middle School Visual Arts Program. Uh, all the students participate in a quarter of center-based art program during each of their three middle school years. These centers focus on different types of art, such as 2D design, 3D design, and digital art and design. Students learn traditional and digital art production techniques to produce incredible works of art within uh, the different centers. We have adopted a choice-based model of learning in which students learn essential skills through a series of boot camps. Once the students have become proficient in the necessary skills, they are presented with a series of design tasks. They choose which design task they are most interested in and then apply these skills that they acquired in the boot camps to create a work of art that meets the design task requirements. For example, in the sixth grade uh, digital art center, Students learn basic digital collage techniques in Photoshop in an activity that we affectionately refer to as what's attacking the city. Students learn some basic skills and are then asked to apply those skills to create a digital work of art based on whichever design task they choose. For this center, students can choose to create their own hybrid mythological creature, uh, their own personal coat of arms, or a digital matte painting of a surrealist geographical location. Uh, in the Digital Art and Design Center, all students have the opportunity to utilize industry standard graphic design software, which is part of the Adobe Creative Suite, to create digital art. In seventh grade, we look at the work of the Impressionists uh, and learn how to use computer, the computer as a, an art-making tool to simulate different styles of art. 
In eighth grade, we continue to advance our knowledge of digital art production techniques by creating digital graffiti art, sneaker design, and photobombing famous historic events. <laughs> when students enter the uh, Digital Art Design Center, all students have the opportunity to utilize industry standard graphic design. Oh, I'm sorry, see, I'm a visual artist, so we're usually just putting the artwork up there and then walking away. Sorry. Okay. Uh, when students enter the two-dimensional design center, they have an opportunity to draw, paint, and use printmaking techniques to explore a variety of artistic mediums, such as oil pastel, colored pencils, cut paper collage, ink, watercolor, acrylic, and more. Using the artistic process, students are able to tap into their imaginations while applying essential critical thinking and problem-solving skills to produce amazing works of art. In the three-dimensional design studio, students work with materials such as ceramic clay, cardboard, uh, to create 3D works of art. Project work includes vessels that hold a dispensing thing, functional chia pets, and relief sculptures of scenes from our favorite books and movies. The fourth center that students experience differs per grade. All seventh and eighth grade students create 3D digital design projects, giving them an opportunity to work in the STEAM lab. Within this makerspace, students are afforded the opportunity to work with 3D printers, CNC routers, a laser cutter and engraver, iPads, digital drawing tablets, and much, much more. Advanced Studio Art is an accelerated art program. I'm just waiting for it. There it is. Where, where students earn a half a high school credit in studio art upon successful completion of the program. Some project highlights include an interactive acrylic painting uh, where the students actually make their artwork interactive with uh, circuit boards called Makey Makeys, uh, and the annual BMMS yearbook cover design project. This year we had 44 students take part in the program. Uh, art electives are 10-week courses that students can enroll in that are in addition to their regular art course. Electives are offered to 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students. These courses take students on an in-depth journey into animation, game design, digital photography, and tech for the visual arts. Another enrichment activity that we offer at the middle school is art club. And here's the recap of everything that we just pulled out. And now let's take a look at the high school visual arts program. Studio art is a prerequisite course for all other high school art courses and focuses on building a fundamental understanding of the artistic thinking process through the choice-based learning model. Students in these courses explore a variety of art production techniques, including digital art, sculpture, play, photography, painting, collage, and printing. Upon completion of studio art, students have the opportunity to explore their interest in drawing and painting. These half-year courses allow students to learn more advanced skills through skill-building boot camps, while at the same time affording them the freedom to express their own artistic voice through personal choice regarding which mediums they will utilize, including pen and ink, charcoal, pastel, acrylic paint, printmaking, and paper collage. Advanced drawing and painting challenges students to develop their creative expression through the investigation of graphic design, ink, printmaking, acrylic paint, watercolor, charcoal, digital photography, and more. Students also begin creating a final art portfolio in preparation for AP art and post-secondary schools. AP art guides students through the preparation of a portfolio in either drawing or 2D design to be submitted for evaluation at the end of the school year. The AP portfolio requires uh, that each student design and conduct a sustained investigation guided by questions. It involves practice, experimentation, and revision resulting in a meaningful body of work. In these photos, each student has created a selection of their five best pieces to submit for their quality section of their portfolio, showing evidence of the highest craftsmanship. In addition to studio art sequence offered at the Henry Hudson High School, students can enroll in semester-long art elective courses. Students in both digital photography and graphic design utilize industry standard software to dive deeper into digital art. Sculpture and 
ceramic courses allow students further exploration in three-dimensional art and design. In sculpture, students create artwork utilizing the mediums of tile mosaic, stained glass, plaster, and cardboard. Our ceramic courses allow students to dive deeper into hand building and wheel forming with ceramic clay. This is a summary of the highlights we just discussed as part of the high school art program. So now let's look at some overall K-12 program highlights. Uh, student artwork is exhibited both within the district and in the community at large. Some exciting highlights are our annual K-12 art show that takes place at the Hendrick Hudson Free Library uh, each April. High school students take part in art shows at the uh, Katona Museum of Art, Women's Club of Cortland, and numerous other showcases and competitions. The middle school holds their annual advanced art exhibition to showcase artwork students create within the advanced studio art program. Uh, the visual art program, grades 2 to 12, utilizes a digital portfolio program called Artsonia. Students are able to digitally document their artwork during their visual art journey at Hen Hug and share their portfolio with their family and friends. So here's a breakdown of this year's budget along with next year's proposed budget, which will enable program offerings to remain the same. Art materials and supplies are the day-to-day -day necessities that our students use in order to create art. Paint, paper, markers, 3D printer filament, ceramic clay, just to name a few. The art equipment and contractual funds are used for the maintenance of kilns, printers, and other critical equipment in the program. So, that's our, uh, that's our presentation. Thank you very much for allowing us to take you on this journey through the Hendrick Hudson Visual Art Program. Hey, Greg, I just want to say one thing. So, first, thank you very much for these presentations. Uh, you know, I know I've been asking for this for six years and we finally got them. And I think these were master classes in how to present to the board. Okay, I think to be more specific, um, <laughs> the presentations made the student experience real, mm -hmm. right, and tangible. We did not get a reading of every single bullet on every single slide, mm -hmm. right? And the asks were very clear, right, supported by data and, and a written document, which I think is fantastic. And the budgets that were presented showed last year's, or this current year's budget versus next year's budget, which we did not get in most of the budgets, right? So I think this was absolutely fantastic in how it was presented, and I love what's going on in the music and visual arts programs, so thank you very much. All right, thank you.